Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Turtle. And my name is Flyer. Today we're play today we're playing Textbound Tales. Um Textbound Tales, text based RPG. Um it says it's for up to four people, but as you can see, multiplayer is disabled, so we will be playing single player together. Yeah. Should be fun. Um as you can see it's a drawn text based RPG. Well, you can't see it. That is text based yet, but we'll get there. Um, it's currently in early access on Steam and still in development. Creator has devlogs on his YouTube channel. I'll try to uh, remember to link it. Um, yeah, let's just get started. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, um, settings should be fine. Does that sound? Okay, single player, new game. Okay, we can choose. Oh. Mommy's oh. favorite? Abby? Let me, let me be, it's Abby. Abby. Also, the botanist. And mommy's favorite. <laughs> I want to be Abby. I like mommy's favorite. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's do this. Okay, where are these two characters? The bar is usually this rowdy. It's a bit busy, and apparently. Some big shot mer mercenaries are in town. Ooh, some important people. So. Ooh, okay. have fun. Albert the bartender rushes over to your table when he sees that you're out of drinks. Oh, what a nice view. Yes, we can have some drinks. So, does anyone want another drink? Let's see if we can buy something. We have yeah. 10 coins. 10, okay. What would you like to buy? Buy Pomberry Pom Pom for 3. Coins by this are a lot, I can't say them all. Yeah, spider spirits. <laughs> it's the cheapest one, let's go cheap. Yeah, we don't know what money we need, and I kind of want to buy for only. Oh, we have a we, oh, we have one. Uh... All done here, then? Yes, yeah. Albert shuffles away <laughs> to take orders at another table. Talk about magic. Talk about politics. Let's go magic. Magics. <laughs> Always magic. Mommy's favorite. Oh. Did you hear about the new city rules concerning magic use in the city? They continue to make small talk. <laughs> in the back of the bar you notice Kanicho, who clearly has too much to drink, sleeping on the table. A uh, Kanicho. Oh, that's the race, I guess. <gasps> Pay his tab, tab, steal his money. money. <laughs> I want to Buy him money. another drink, leave him be. We steal this money just to be stupid. I want to be <laughs> stupid this time. <laughs> Please, let me fun. Yeah. We'll steal. He's not completely aware of what's happening, so mommy's favorite man to steal his coin purse without any resistance. The bartender seems to have noticed your mischievous behavior, though. We have now seventy coins. <laughs> Afterwards, Abby spots a man sitting alone, lost in thought. Hmm. Approach him. I'm gonna approach him. Okay. Why not help a man in need of some camp company? You walk over to him. He still doesn't notice anything. Tap on his shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. You startled me. Did you need something? No, sir. We just noticed... You looked a little bit lost and wondered if we could help. Oh, that's very nice of you people. But I doubt you could help me with my problem. He immediately goes on. It's just that I'm tasked with coming up with a solution for my work. We run off one of the biggest steel refineries a continent away. Well, what's the problem? There's a competitor here in Sudair. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing any of their names. <laughs> yeah. And I have the means to shut them down. But it would lead to some casualties. Let's encourage him. You know what casualties is? Yeah, let's Probably. do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We are. Uh, we see still money, so. It's. In game money. It's a part of being in the industry. People lose their jobs every day. Oh, it's not as dramatic as I thought. <laughs> Don't feel yeah, bad. You. You're providing yourself for yourself just like them. One man's loss is not a man's gain. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess so. Good, Good point. point. <laughs> oh, we have a we got re reputation. reputation. Okay. Yeah, we just got a 3 2. As if it's Why? a weight been lifted. It's, it's as if a weight's been lifted off my shelf. No problem. No problem. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> you went back to your table. The man leaves in an excited hurry. Oh. After a while, Albert comes over again and says, Aya, I noticed you guys still had to pay for your drinks from last night. No, that's so much. Okay, let's do that because the other the game. <laughs> Number two we can do. Oh wait, sorry, my mistake. The gentleman who you, you were talking to earlier paid it already, so no worries. Oh. Oh. This is a crunchy, this is a crunchy. <laughs> when you look at the man, when you look at the source of the noise, you see the grubby little man standing at your table. Oh. I've played this a little bit before, but it has been updated a lot. Um, this man is fun. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be funny. Can we help I'm you? The crunchies, I need the crunchies. I'll pay you, I've got the gold. The crunchies. <laughs> Except <laughs> Yeah Um sure Yes, yes. the crunchies the ghost crunchies I hope that's you can understand me in the recording <laughs> Yeah me too Suddenly the con a bursts through the door the fella looks fancy and unscathed by the likes of the lower district Wait for him let's just be nice it's good Hi. Uh, Hey there The man is hit with a wave of relief. Oh, by the gods, I found you. Sorry, who are you? That doesn't matter. What lie? What does is who I re represent. He continues in a quieter voice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here by the order of this majesty of Tidal. 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 There's a certain fa task he fears only you can accomplish. Why us? Oh, and by the way, um, if someone knows how to pronounce it, let me know in the comments. Yeah, please. <laughs> Why us? Let me read the letter again. Oh yes, because all other means have failed and else our precious city is doomed. What's the task? There's a dangerous creature in Bone Forest that needs to be slain. His majesty has set aside a reward of 500 crowns for whoever defeats this creature. Ask about details. I want more yeah, details. Yeah, let's about details. <laughs> I want more details before you I say If you want to us. know the details, you'll have to read his magic formally, formal letter. Here you go. So, can I bring his magic some good news? Let's open this one. Let's first read. I guess we have, have to say yes or no. <laughs> I think we can't read it. Okay, let's accept. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's accept. It's doom of a city. <laughs> That's great to hear. I expect nothing less from a group like yours. For what it's worth, good luck. Thanks. <laughs> we gonna... need it. We do need it. Probably. Oh, I almost forgot. There's an extra 120 coins for equipment cost. Could you imagine if I forgot to give you these? We're you rich. just have coins. We're on rich. Okay. Equipment Let's cost. Go. Huh? First time any of you actually have. I'm trying to sell and crowns to your name. You could invest them in gear or something else. Get up. <laughs> We're gonna save that money Le for good stuff. Okay, we started off bad. Let's try and look at our reputation. When yeah. you leave your table, a stranger approaches you. Why did that messenger come to your to fellers just to you fellers just now? What is what's it to you? Nothing really. I was surprised that I heard of Words, Majesty of Tidal. Why is that? Because you fellas have never held a weapon in your lives, and it don't take an experienced mercenary to see that. Oh, he's gonna try to scam us off money. <laughs> I can tell. See, I'm offering you lads a deal. I join you on the mission of yours, and you get to keep the reward. I just want to get in business with the royal house. Reject. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like him. I don't like his pink with the purple. It's not good. It's no, not looking good. No <laughs> thanks. It's a delicate matter and we won't risk letting a third party mess it up. 
mess it up, huh? Guess I'll settle for you for the news report saying the creature skinned you alive. Oh, well, thanks. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> uh, now that he's gone, it's time to get the weapon that, to actually kill the monster with. The only question is where? Um, Garrett's goods, the mage's quarters. When I got it too. We're going to the mage quarters? I just have the feeling that's that's the correct one. <laughs> There's no correct or incorrect. Oh. You go to the mage quarters, a place known for its potion and magic things. Better than the minister of magic in Tidal himself. I think the other one was for the weapons. <laughs> it's our own story. We'll we'll go we'll go for the we'll go for the potion. What? What's that smell? What's that smell? Yes. There's a certain increase of fishy biomass order odorants. So we smell stinky fish. A little bit of Tony Rogue, mommy's favorite spot, a small fish skull. As you get closer, the smell intensifies. Let's call the wind. <laughs> That's not stealing in. Huh? Aww, it was fun. We Hello there. Me. Would you like to buy some flippers? Says the vendor. Yeah, let's buy some. Let's see if you have some. What would you like to buy? The cheapest one. No, we had like 17. We're, yeah, we had 17 to our own. The rest is for the. Yeah, let's gear. go for this one. You bought cornrod. Anything else? No thanks. We no. just spent money. Okie dokie, come back anytime. I thought it was a loading screen. <laughs> Your party ends the maid's quarters. It somehow smelled nice in here. Love them smell stores. There aren't a lot of goods in your, your mind can make sense of. There's a book which glows, the head of some sort. Tree and a lot of animals which are painted red. Hmm. Um, the lady behind the counter sees you and says, Welcome to a place of dreams and magic. In the most un <laughs> <laughs> uninterested voice you've ever heard. <laughs> okay. I'll save you some trouble of searching for stuff you don't know about. This is what is in stock at the moment. Let's see what he has. Or she. I don't know. What would you like to buy? Poison oil blade. Is that a weapon? Sounds like a weapon. A blade is a weapon. Yeah, but... Let's just do it and it's not our money. You bought... <laughs> it's poison. We don't care. I also take customers yeah. brewing orders. No. No, we're, we're gonna not get gonna weapons. spend money on you. Do you want anything else? We're good. Then I bid you farewell and good luck. Oh, and also, don't die while... Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, don't die while slaving. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. On the side of, on the, of the road, mommy's favorite notes a bulletin board. Let's check yeah. it out. <laughs> There's four flyers pinned into the wood. Vote for change. Join the church. Aurelia. Want a Dawnbringer, Dawnbringer cult? Wear a pig. Which one we choose? Let's go three. <laughs> well, we're go you're interested in the cult, of course. It's, Always. It's a wanted person poster for Jimmy and Walter Halber. They run a cult which recently turned violent with ritualistic murders. Oh! Oh, we love that, <laughs> don't we? <laughs> okay. You could look at another flyer or move on. Let's move on. Oh, I want to look at the other ones. Uh, I'm interested. Join the church! <laughs> let's, let's take a look at the church. We're gonna look join the church of Aurelia and be forever welcomed in her warm embrace for a low price of 20 crowns. No. <laughs> ah. No. Let's look at all of them. Yeah, let's just do that. That's easier. Okay. Where? Pick. Vote, vote for a chain. It's a flyer for a politician called Daniel mm, Davenport. Davenport. Who wants to change Tidal's political system to a republic? Which, with himself as the newly appointed president, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's always <laughs> like that, people. Okay. There's another one. 
Rare pig. Rare pig. Wanted the rare pig. Reward 2000 crowns. Considered highly dangerous. Okay, we're gonna go on. If we find it, move on. We need those crowns because we. <coughs> We, we call them coins. Maybe this need... information could lead into something interesting. Ah! ah! What was that? I think it's someone who's cackling. Although it does sound like it comes from above. Couldn't be, right? I don't know. We can't go there. Crunchy. <laughs> Gan? You got crunchy? Um. Yes. Do we have no, we don't. No, let's just go no, for safety. In. Come back with Crunchy. Gersha. <laughs> crunchy. Look. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Crunchy Kinichiko again. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. I'm so sorry. You got Crunchy? I think he's gonna wait until we say it. No, we don't. Come back with Crunchy. Gersha. A few guards walk past your party. They're talking about something. Eavesdrop or ignore it? It's eavesdrop. I'm so sorry, but I just, I'm so curious always. Is that still happening tonight? I'll be there around 7 then. They don't seem to be talking about anything interesting. Keep on walking. Aww. Oh my. My good people. You have to help me. The orphan shred is my treats me horribly. Screams a young Kenicho who comes running towards you. What do you mean? Let's be nice. Be, be, be a kind soul and give me a crown. I'm pretty sure that then I can convince Headmaster Balichi to let me be this evening. Yeah, no, send him away. Our money. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'm just... We're poor. Do we look like a charity to you? The kid walks irrit away irritated while mumbling something. I was so nice. Ah! ah! What was what that? that? <laughs> this tragedy. The oh. were pig struck again. What did he do? The pig. It. Oh my god. <laughs> Estonius! <laughs> what happened? Lady McIntyre, she came back from a turfle hunt and was taken down by him. Is she dead? Oh no. She suffered a, a worse fate. It took her travels. Oh gods, why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what reaction do we do? <laughs> Not the troubles. <laughs> Don't worry. Stay hydrated. We'll get the. <laughs> yeah. Clap a date. <laughs> Next time, we'll get him. But for now, he roams the night. Okay. What the, why are these wars sometimes so incomplete? Crunchy! <laughs> Does she have nothing better to do? No. You got Crunchy? No, we don't! Come back with Crunchy, Kasha! Okay, bye. I said he's a, he's a great character. <laughs> Why is it that every time you, you're in the city center, someone feels obligated to scream something from a soapbox? Listen to the spiel or don't listen? Yeah, what? no, I don't, don't have the energy for that tonight. I'm sorry, but I'm tired of the crunch. You see this every day, but usually a waste of time. Uh, Ow, my head. When you look at what caused the pain, you see the crunchy cookie fell out of the sky, right on top of Abby. Ow, <laughs> Pick, it. Pick it up. Oh. Nice. The weird man said he'd pay for this, please. When you finally reach the gate, the guards stop you. Can we pass? Little late for to be heading out through the woodlands, huh? What are we gonna do? Let's tell just the truth. And they're... We're going to kill a monster. <laughs> <laughs> While they're laughing at you, you hysterically, hysterically, you all make a way through the gate. So we choose the line? We, we have no weapons. We have a bit of poison. Yeah, but we're so and smart to do so. Ah, ah. Bolin Forest. The, the atmosphere is so much lighter here. 
All your city trolls fade away when you breathe in natural air. Yeah, what natural those cheese faces? And don't forget about the monster you're supposed to be killing, though. No! Mommy's favorite trips and falls. They fall right in front of Crunchy Cookie that was lying around. I only have two Crunchy Cookies. Pick it up! <laughs> <laughs> nice, the weird man said he paid for these. William born first, you ran into a bunch of Tidalian car uh, guards. Not again. Okay. Should we listen in on their conversation? Eavesdrop, always eavesdrop! <laughs> Did you hear? The wire pig has been roaming the city night again. Thanks, Exilish. I'm not patrolling there right now. I'm guessing Exilish is some kind of god. Yeah, I think so. The, the guards keep on walking without even noticing you. Oh, they're very bad at the job then. We're in the middle of the path. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're gonna crowd it. Rish! You have no idea what that sound was, but it seemed like it came from behind the bushes. I wanna see. Oh, check out. Behind the bush, you notice a once majestic <gasps> fern heart. Definitely seen better day. Approach it. We're gonna <laughs> save its life. When you get closer, mommy's favorite notes: throwing knife stuck in Bernard, in the fern heart's belly. Try and save it. Okay. <laughs> we love it. It's beautiful. Abby gently approaches the fern heart and pets it a few times. It's going to struggle while you try to help it. Okay. Let's struggle. I hold the creature down, while Abby quickly pulls the, the, the knife out of his belly. What's next? Clean the wound. Abby desperately tries to get the dirt and filth out of the wound with a piece of cloth. But the blood is gushing, blood is gushing out of him, keeps it, him oh, from it. To do the other one. As a result, no! the fur loses too much blood and passes away. <gasps> no! We tried. <laughs> the fur didn't have a piece of death. But you got to a knife out of it. <laughs> we got a this weapon. This kid is very optimistic. <laughs> like the little further down the road, you notice a large box between trees. Let's check it out always. If there's a monster that... As she approaches the box... It's filled with fish. As she approaches the box, you notice it's filled with fish. Take some fish, we need it. Yeah, take some Who fish. Who cares? <laughs> we have a bad reputation anyway. Oh. As she... As you get your hands on Korkot, a Konnichiwa comes running. Act natural. <laughs> We're gonna be here. <laughs> right. You've tried to play it cool, but when the Kanichi comes closer, what are you? What in Kaduchas are you doing here with my fish? <laughs> lie. <laughs> Let's lie about it. My name is Abby from the Royal Council of Fish Inspection <laughs> <laughs> of Sidal. <laughs> we are here to decide whether your fish meets our minimum <laughs> food freshness requirements. <laughs> I'm not buying it! The F the F S S F E would never send their members out in the forest this late of the day. Run! <laughs> you decide to make a run for it. Abby holds a corn cut firmly and you manage to get away. Let's hope you don't run into the fisherman again though. Oh. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> My head! <laughs> Why me? Why the, me? Where's the, where's the crunchy man now? I, I don't know his name. Ah, nice. The man pay for these. We're gonna. Get ah! Them. What was that? What was that? Yeah. Sounds like someone crackling high above the trees. The forest truly is distracting. There's so much nature, nature, and there's so many animals. It's almost hypnotic. But the trance is broken when suddenly trees start waving and the ground starts shaking. Earthquake. What? <laughs> there's a deep rumble. Whirl. What's, What's happening? happening? <laughs> this looks like the creature you're supposed to slay. It looks like it's going to eat you, but hey, you never, you can never judge a book by the cover, right? It's like it. We're not gonna die this one. I'm sorry, but mm. before you can do anything, the creature jumps your party. Jump away! Everyone quickly jumps out of its landing zone. Close one. Oh god. Abby has a plan. Your party rushes to the monster. But it throws a punch. Jump over. You successfully jump over the punch. Ooh, battles are interesting. With the monster's back now turned to you, if there's two options. Go for the head, go for the legs. Legs, because then he's on the ground. Mommy's favorite Abby in both 
kick its shin as hard as possible, making it drop to the knees. We did damage. Yeah. It's down. Do you go at it again? Strike! While it's down, Abby quickly climbs on his head and force feeds his poison. Oh! Just use your poison. The monster scream screams out in pain. The sound alone hurts your ears. Oh, that's why I got damaged. <laughs> the monster picks up a boulder and hurls it at Abby. What are you gonna do? What is up here? The uh, darts run away. Try to make it miss you. Uh, Let's make it miss me. Let's try it. Let me hit him. Gonna die. You jump away in a credible fashion. The monster stomps its feet and angrily. <laughs> Turn the favor. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna do something back, or we're waiting. Let's do it. Do? Yeah. Abby throws your recently acquired throwing knife in the monster's chest. Doesn't seem to be much too much though. Oh. Anyway, when I played just to see this game, I did the exact same route, and I came, <laughs> came here and I failed this fight. <laughs> okay, I should watch this. The monster picks up a boulder and hurls it at Abby. I failed. Jump in a crabble fashion. The monster <laughs> stops feet and ground angrily. Abby has a plan. The bride rushes to the monster, but throws a punch. Jump over again? Yeah. <laughs> Successfully jumps over the punch. Well, the monster's back now. Back, back. Let's go for the head. Let's go for the head this time. Mommy's favorite kicks its shin as hard as possible, making it fall down. So that Abby can successfully hit the head. So we hit the legs and the head. Okay. I should have done it before he was Abby has a plan. Oh, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna jump over it again. Continue. Go for the head! <laughs> the head was a bit more effective. Continue. It's over. We won. Thank the gods! Everyone is exhausted. We need a trophy, says Abby. Take a trophy. Mom's got a, a toe. <laughs> <laughs> We no. just gotta throw up whatever it was. Now we just need to get back to the city. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Crunchy. Look, it's a crunchy Kanicho again. <sighs> you got crunchy? Yes. Yeah, they're falling on my head. <laughs> crunchy! <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, we're gonna sell the crunchy cookie. Yeah, I think. How many do we have? We have two left. Okay, sell two more. We need money anyway. I created our crowns, but okay. Wait, we got another crunch cookie? No, we don't. No, it's just Bad. an option. Crunch! I mean crunch! Action. <laughs> More! I need more! Crunch! You don't get more. Okay. After walking a bit, Abby, Abby noticed something. Look! A signpost! Look around. Although it's a bit overgrown, behind a few bushes stands a signpost saying, Tidal! 750 steps. Uh, we're far away. Fun. I have different step slices than you. Oh my god. <laughs> so how is that work? You I all think... start walking towards Tidal, almost home. Oh, definitely. Out of nowhere, someone taps Abby on the shoulder. When they see it's a guard, Abby is initially a bit shocked. Oh? But seeing that you're now attacking colleagues, it takes away from their threat. Oh, right, we did their job. <laughs> On royal orders, we are instructed to recollect you ASAP when you return from the Balm Forest. Go with them. As they escort you to the palace, everyone looks around as if you're heroes. Oh no help. Why is our reputation so low? Mm. When you enter the throne room, there's no one there. Even the guards who escorted you leave immediately. Wait? Yeah, let's just wait patiently <laughs> and be nice. You wait and wait. The king is nowhere in sight. We're gonna keep waiting? Yeah, we're gonna keep <laughs> waiting. 
After waiting a bit, the king walks in and comes in. <laughs> <laughs> By the messenger from earlier. They look delighted you did, didn't leave your sign spot. Well, we made the right choice. Wait for the announcement. He looks so stupid! Oh my god! <laughs> the messenger proudly proclaims Now presenting the not so honorable mercenary squad, the Knights of Lance. What are we gonna say? Come again? Both you guys and the king are confused. What do you mean? These aren't the Knights of Lance. What? But these are the people I gave the contract to. No, I clicked wrong. Um, I'll tell, I'll tell you what's happening. This is a result of me hiring incompetent staff. Says his majesty, the, the, the king. <laughs> Which means two things. One, Dilma Ramo, you scobbler, you're fired. <laughs> What's do? Scobble Lodger. Scobble What's do? That depends. Did you kill it? Show the trophy. You put them. I don't know. You tell me. Says Andy as they throw the uggernuts. Oh, it's the uggernuts. Throw on the floor. Ha ha ha. But that changes everything. Dilororo, you get a race. And you, get out. What? You see, I have an agreement with the actual Knights of Lance saying I'd pay them 500 crowns for bounty. But the but you're not the Knights of Lance, so I don't owe you a thing. Object! I object! <laughs> but we had agreements. So, I'm the King of Tidal. I don't care. The King looks at you with a smug face. I propose you go back to the bar you came from and shut, shut, shut up about this from now on. No. <laughs> blackmail? Look at my shit for me. Well, our reputation is zero. <laughs> so blackmail. Blackmail. That's horrible. <laughs> no. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't think so. You don't pay us. I'm pretty sure we can find a buy who will pay us handsomely for his... This formally signed letter from His Majesty of Tidal. <laughs> A letter that, if I need to correctly, states that the high trained royal guard were unable to stop this monster after multiple failed attempts. I think that guy. Daniel Davenport, who is looking to replace you, would be very interested in this letter. Have you heard of him? Can we get money? <laughs> so we'll give you the letter and you keep quiet for a small price of a thousand crowns. It's only fair after all. The king is living. Don't you dare show your faces unto me ever again! The guards at the gate will reimburse you. Hello, Dilmoro, you're fired again! Sorry, sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> As you walk, walk out, the guards hand you your money. <gasps> we are rich. <laughs> Let's go, we have money. <laughs> we get outside, the air feels richer. Just like you guys. <laughs> we we should do this whole adventure thing oh, more often. It's quite lucrative. <laughs> of course. <laughs> This reading is quite difficult. Okay. Yes. Suddenly you see Gil more, more, Diller more, being thrown out by the guards from the side entrance. You loggerheads have never made such a big stick! He shouted at the scouts. The guards. Hey, hey, you alright? The, the second you say something, Diller more, Diller more, Diller more, turns his head towards you. You can see that he cried. <gasps> You guys, it's all your fault I got fired. Argue, <laughs> we have no reputation. It's your own, it's your, it's your own fault. My own? You literally called me over in the bar. So excuse me for thinking that you were expecting me. <laughs> Our reputation is going down. It was you. <laughs> I was trying to be nice. So shut up. You, you took that quest knowing full well you weren't the Knights of Lands. You shut up. I swear to Alfredici, Alfredici, 
that you that if you ever come near me again, I'll skin you alive. We have a matching potion. <laughs> we're, no, we, no don't. we don't have it. We have cookies. Then Morrow storms off, and you guys are left in, in, there in thought. No. Go back to the bar. At the end of the street stands a pillar of strength, the love of your life, the only constant variable in this miserable world, a the sunken tankard. Enter. Let's go inside. Oh, you walk inside me, just no sunken thing. Hey, look, there's a crunchy cookie right here under a table. <laughs> okay. Um, nice. To, that's how he pay for these. Crunchy. I think we're gonna end it here today. Yeah. Um, it was fun. Th this game is so much fun. Try it out. Yeah. I'll put some links in the description. If I forget, yeah, let me in the comments for to remind me. Yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed the game as much as we did. Uh, <laughs> it was so much fun to do all Again, if you know how to pronounce these names and places and things, please tell us in the comments. Let us know. And I'll see yeah. you next episode. Goodbye. I'm excited.